Good morning and welcome back to the American Family Survival Network. My name is Jeffrey Snipes. I'm your host and I hope you're doing well. We have another excellent article from our premier affiliate, the USCCA, the United States Concealed Carry Association, helping you to become a responsible gun owner. Range time versus dry fire and why? This is by Kevin Michalowski. Training is not something you can do once and call it good. Skills are perishable. If you don't use them, you will lose them. But the biggest issue most of us have is time. Most people don't have the time to engage in ongoing training. There's also a cost factor. Ammo and good training cost money. All of these elements conspire against us and eventually most of us give up and choose not to train regularly. Let's change that. The best way to change anything is to change the way you think about it. So let's think about this for a minute. First up, range time is great. Great if you are effectively working on the skills that will improve your defensive technique. I remember the very first time I took a serious defensive pistol course. My draw was horrible. The instructor looked at me and said, we have a lot of work to do on that draw. We did the work and I have had a pretty good draw ever since. But I never would have noticed if I had not gotten effective training. If you are continually practicing the wrong way, you will end up with a training scar. So first step is to get good instruction and let it sink in. Don't be so stubborn as to refuse to learn new things. Remember, good ideas can come from anywhere. None of us knows everything. So now that you have a good solid base of skills, don't you think you have to go to the range and burn up tons of ammo and spend lots of money? You can improve your shooting skills just as rapidly with dry fire training. And even the term dry fire is a bit of a misnomer. It might be better to call it simply dry training. That is to say, you can go through every step of your training except for having the firing pin hit the primer. This type of training is very important and should not be overlooked. In fact, dry training at your home can often allow you to do things that can't be done on the range. Let's go back to that first instructor's review of my draw. Once he instructed me on the proper form and sequence, I cleared my weapon, went to the side of the range, and practiced the draw about 500 times. Then I added a sidestep and a verbal challenge. All this was done without firing a single shot. Repetition is the key to success. Let's give it even more specific about why the, tra why the dry training in some cases is better than live fire. Consider this, if you go to the range once a week and you draw and shoot, draw and shoot every single time, you're training yourself to draw and shoot. What if on the street you need to pull your gun? You automatically revert to your training, which to this point has been draw and shoot. So you draw and shoot automatically, just like you trained. Except during the draw stroke, your bad guy got scared and put up his hands to surrender. But your only training was draw and shoot. Now you've just shot a suspect who was trying to surrender because you created your own training scar. With dry training, you can and should practice hundreds of perfect draws that include elements like a big step to the side to get you off the X and a verbal challenge to turn bystanders into witnesses. Finally, some of those draws should end with your not pressing the trigger until you make that last final assessment as to whether or not you really need to shoot. Yes, that is a lot to think about, but consider how much you will have to think about during a real situation. Dry training allows you to do all of that. And if you want to practice your trigger press, you can do that too. So folks, please remember to go to the US CCA to become a responsible gun owner. They have a plethora of information on um, how to be a responsible gun owner and how to train yourself uh, correctly. And there's a link at the bottom of this video uh, to an excellent site um, put together by Mr. Schmidt on how to get yourself insured if you're ever in a situation where you need to where you need to defend yourself and your family. So uh, please review that as well. Please consider becoming a member of the USCCA today. And please go to the American Family Survival Store for all your family's emergency and survival needs. And remember to protect and safeguard your family. 
Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Fear not, and God bless. Thank you so much.